This video is going to take a look at database models. Now, like I said in the previous video, I dropped a term that I really didn't explain about the whole relationship database. In this video, we're going to actually talk about what these models are like. So a database model, the database management software is the program used to create and manage a database. We talked about this previous video. So database management software makes sense. A database, we've been talking about management, how you organize, how you keep track of, how you deal with, how you control software. So database, database management software is a program that we use to create and then manage that database. So the term makes sense. The database model, however, is the architecture. The DBMS, the database management software, is going to use to store objects within that database. So summing this up, the DBMS, the database management software, is the software, the tool that we use to create a database, manage that database. The model is how we organize the stuff within that database. So the model is how we I come up with the ideas, how we structure that database. And there are several models that have been used since the beginning of databases. And those would include hierarchical, network, relational, object oriented and object relational. Taking a look at the first two, the hierarchical and the network. These are two of the oldest models for database. These are pretty much only found on legacy systems. This is what got the whole ball rolling when we took a look at databases. They both use something called pointers to connect related records. The problem that we had with that were the people using the databases. And what I mean by this is the principle behind this next model, the relational model, is that no developer, no designer, no team of people could come up with all the possible pathways of questions people would ask. The hierarchical and the network databases relied on predicting questions and building those questions into the database. So we would say people are going to ask on contact information, birthdays, addresses, all these different things, but they couldn't guess every question people would ask. And so when you ask that question, that the programmers weren't ready for, you'd break the system. Relational databases have the idea behind it that says you cannot predict all the pathways, all the questions that users are going to ask in using a database. And so what we've developed is that each record in that database is self-contained with all the information so that users can create their own searches. So no longer did you have people already pre-making searches? Now we give the power back to the users to create their own searches. And that information in the database had all the information contained within it to be pulled in the different directions that the users wanted. The next one is object oriented and object relational. Object is a logical grouping of related data that represents a real world thing. So what we're looking at here is a item that is going to have the data associated with it, it's going to represent a real world thing. It's going to represent an actual tangible object. This type of model came into its own because of images and multimedia files on the internet. Before the internet really came about, databases was all about text-based. Now with the internet, we have to search, we have to index things like images, we have to index things like videos. For example, if you found this video via YouTube, via search, you're having to index videos now, just like you used to have to index text. And so there's a lot more different things now that we have to add to a database than just plain text. Now, of course, we have tagging abilities in videos and we have other things, but we're seeing an increase in the ability of the internet world to be able to index and classify objects that it wouldn't be able to do before. Very short video. In the next video, we are going to finish off our look at databases. This is actually the fun part of the databases, and we're going to take a look at some final bits of databases in video 804.